No place is safe in Gaza. As Israel's escalating campaign against the Gaza Strip continues, homes are targeted and devastated. The children and civilians inside killed and injured. <laughs> These are the victims' faces of the ongoing assaults on Gaza. Medical sources confirm at least a third of the dozens of casualties have been children, the youngest, a two-day-old newborn. Hospitals can barely cope. Suffering the consequences of months of the Israeli siege on Gaza, everything is in short supply, including medicine and fuel. And while rescue workers risk their lives to help the wounded and doctors are stretched to the limit, paramedics accuse Israeli forces of firing on ambulances. The situation is very dangerous. Ambulances should be protected. Yet our own place was hit. Our cars were hit. There are injuries out there and I cannot leave to rescue them. We as healthcare providers and our ambulance stations have become targets. An Israeli army spokesperson has denied targeting medical crews. Israeli forces are attacking Gaza from the air and the ground. Israel says the military campaign is intended to stop the firing of rockets from Gaza into Israeli towns. And for their part, Palestinian factions continue to strike. They're insisting that rocket firing will not stop until Israeli attacks cease. If the world fails to support us diplomatically, to bring the occupation and aggression to an end, and to restore our rights and self-rule, it's our absolute natural right to fight and resist. And if it's a question of rockets, why don't you observe a truce? Give the truce a chance. The unfolding events have pushed Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas into a corner. He lashed out at Israel, accusing it of state terrorism. Children who are barely five months old are being bombed by the Israeli army. We tell the world, look and judge what is happening in Gaza. Tell us who is the one inflicting state terrorism. And while Palestinians and Israelis exchange blame, the international community stands silent. So far, no outright condemnation, despite repeated calls for help. And as the situation on the ground is getting worse by the hour, Palestinian families have no choice but to cope. In the West Bank, a general strike has been declared in solidarity with Gaza. But for the ordinary families there, that's not enough. They feel increasingly abandoned by a muted international community. Left to their own devices, they're preparing themselves for what they fear will be more bloody days ahead. Nur Al Jazeera, Ramallah.